Hi everyone. Today we will learn what is transaction log backup. How to take the transaction log backup by SQL query. How to take transaction log backup by GUI. And how to verify transaction log backup. Okay. And uh, for this uh, transaction log backup, I have a database called Tran Back and I have a table in that uh, database called Tab and I have some record in that tables okay first of all what is transaction log backup transaction log backup backup the transaction log records that have been written after the last full backup or last transaction log backup okay for understanding this uh, i have suppose i have a plan every sunday i run a full backup and every night from every night I take full backup and throughout the day I take transaction log backup after every two hours okay I have a backup plan on Monday Tuesday Wednesday same as on Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday every night I run full backup and throughout the day I run every two hours I run the transaction log so what is the transaction log backup as per the definition transaction log backup backup the transaction log records that have been written after the last full backup means whatever the transaction has been done after full backup the transaction log backup transaction log backup log is to the log records that has been written your after full backup or after your last transaction log backup that means t1 has all the log records that has been written your full backup then t t2 transaction t2 has all the log records that has been modified or that has been right after the last transaction log records that means whatever the log has been written after the last transaction log backup it takes all log records okay that means t3 has all the all the transaction log records that have been written your t t t2 sorry t4 has the transaction log backup that have been written after the last t3 transaction log 3 like that transaction log backup backup the log records that have been writes after the last transaction log backup okay like that understand and the transaction log backup can possible in full or bulk log recovery model because in the simple recovery model uh, in the simple recovery uh, in in the simple recovery transaction log is not possible because the log file is truncated automatically when the database checkpoint occurs or or you can say if the sinker if the, in the simple recovery model whenever the log file is uh, till 70 percent full the database checkpoint occurs occurs and transaction log file is truncated so the <coughs> Uh, and what is the checkpoint? Checkpoint is nothing but the writing the uh, dirty pages from buffer pool to disk. Or uh, dirty pages. What is the dirty pages? Dirty pages is the modified pages in the buffer pool. If you want the uh, de whole detail about the checkpoint, then please watch my video. What is the checkpoint? Okay. This is about the transaction log backup. <coughs> and uh, by having the transaction log backup 
along with your full backup we can achieve point in time and you can say point in time point in time restore is possible with the help of full and the full backup along with the transaction log backup that means if 8 pm my transaction my database is crash so okay so in that case i can restore with the help of i can restore point in time your database with the help of full and all the concurrently transaction log backup means i can restore full backup then transaction t1 t2 t3 till t4 so i can achieve point in time recovery uh, with the help of full and differential backup and just like the differential backup transaction log backup also also based on full backup okay that means without full backup you cannot able to the you cannot take the transaction log backup and uh, another main point is that after the transaction log backup the space within the transaction log can be reused for the other processes understand and uh, now this is about the transaction log backup how to take the transaction log backup by sql queries okay uh, as i said i have a database uh, turn back and i have a table tab one right now i have 299 records i am inserting another 100 records in the table and now the records are being added now i am uh, now i have 399 records now i am taking the transaction log backup by gi so very simple run backup log trans sorry turn backup <coughs> to disk may I give the part c first turn first transaction log backup dot trn trn is the extension of the backup just run yeah you can take transaction log backup from skill queries you can see that transaction log tlb dot trn okay by this query we can take transaction log backup how to take the transaction log backup by gi so, i am inserting again 99 records okay the data is inserted now i have a 499 data how to take the transaction log with gi right click your database go to the task go to the backup now click on select your database select backup type i'm taking transaction log backup remove at the path c second trn gui dot trn okay transaction log backup dot trn other option i remain as it is okay click on okay the transaction log backup has been run successfully trn trn2 okay and third how to verify it uh, if i want to before the restoration i want to verify the transaction log backup then it's very easy restore restore verify only from this is equal to and this part okay we need q backup set is valid means it is valid for restoration same i can check the other other file name also okay
yeah, the backup set on file one is valid. Okay, this is the way you can take transaction log backup in SQL Server. And thank you for watching this video.